talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hello, it's me, Dean Carlos. Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher. Oh, Batman, I'd like to take you down and dance with you in the pale moonlight. I don't see anybody else here, so probably you gotta be talking to me, am I right? It's me, the ukulele teacher, here with a ukulele tutorial you can't refuse. That is for the Godfather theme, as made popular by many people. But let's be honest, the version I was just playing owed an awful lot to Guns N' Roses' Guitar Supremo Slash. So I'm going to teach you a version similar to that. So first things first, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then you can use a clip-on tuner, like the one that comes with this, the Ukulele Teacher Starter Kit. Available now from rivalworld.com, or you can download my free app, the Ukulele app. When it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Now first things first, I'm going to teach you the chords for this song, they're very, very straightforward, and if you want to do this as a duet, then one of you can play the chords, and one of you can play the main part. These are the chords you'll need for the song, if you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of D minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. And the chord of D minor should sound like this. To play the chord of G minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the first string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G minor ought to sound like this. To play the chord of A, put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A should sound like this. To play the chord of C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and the chord of C should sound like this. And to play the chord of F, just put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the chord of F should sound like this. Now, all the way through the song, I'm just playing four downstrokes on each chord, except for the first line and the last line where I play two downstrokes on the chords. So, we're going to get this bit over with really, really quickly because it's nice and straightforward. Let me just play it through if you want, playing the chords nice and slowly, and you guys can follow along. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. Nice and straightforward playing the chords, but let's get cracking and play the main melody. To learn this song, you're really going to need to know how to read tab. So if that's something that you're not familiar with, then check out my video first on how to read tab. There's a link to it in the corner of the screen. It'll take you about two, three minutes to pick it up. It's very, very straightforward. And when you're done, come back and I'll be here waiting for you. This song starts off with just an intro before the chords kick in. It's the part of the song that goes like this.
So let's break that down for you note by note. The first line, we start off all on the top string and the second string. Firstly, what we're gonna do is anchor our first finger on the fourth fret of the first string. Then put our second finger on the fifth fret and our third finger on the sixth fret. That way, if we always keep our first finger there, we can move up and down very, very easily. Always getting four, five, six, five, four, five, six, five. And we're gonna keep that there all the way through this first line. So the first line goes five, four, five, six, five, five, and then six on the second string. So it's five, four, five, six, five, five, six. And then the second half is very, very similar. It's five, four, five, six, five, five, all on the first string again. But this time we play five on the second string, like this. Five, four, five, six, five, five, five. So let's put that all together and play the first line of the intro. Then the second line of the intro starts again, five, four, five on the first string, and then you play seven and slide up to eight, like this. Then you play five, four, five again, and slide up to seven. So that section goes five, four, five, seven to eight, five, four, five, seven. And then the last bit is kind of hard on an acoustic ukulele because there's some bending to do, but it can be done. You play five and bend it up until it sounds like you're playing six and then bend it back down to five again like this. And then you play four on the first string and then bend that up so it sounds like you're playing five. And then four again and then five on the second string. So let's put that all together and play through the intro from the top nice and slow. two, three. And that's where the main part of the song comes in, the main melody of the tune. At least the main part of the song is a bit easier than the intro, so if you've struggled with the intro, don't worry, because it's about to get a little bit more straightforward. The first line of the main part of the song goes like this. Now what we're gonna need to do firstly, before we do anything else, is bar the first and second string on the fifth fret with our first finger. That means we put them down there and we don't move them at all during this line. Then we can put our second finger on the sixth fret, our third finger on the seventh fret, and our fourth finger on the eighth fret. Again, we might not need all of these notes, but it's gonna be very handy and make things a lot easier when we're moving between them. We start off by playing five on the second string, five on the first string, and then eight on the first string like this. And then we've got a sequence of pull-offs, which means we basically play one note up here and then we pull it off so we're playing that fifth fret without playing it with our right hand. So it goes seven, five, eight, five, seven, five. That means we play seven, then pull it off to get the five with our left hand. Eight, pull it off to get the five, and then seven, five again. So it's seven, five, eight, five, seven, five, and then all on the second string, six, eight, five. So let's play that first line through nice and slow. Then the second line starts off in a very, very similar way. But it ends by playing five, four, three on the second string. Then the third line we play seven on the third string, six on the second string, and five on the first string, and slide that five up to the seven on the first string. Two, three. Then we play seven and six again, and then play four on the first string, and then play five, four, five. So let's play that line together. Seven, six, five, seven. Seven, six, four, five, four, five. And then the next line we start off down here, all on the first string. O, one, O, three, O, one, O. And then one on the second string, one. And then one, two on the third string, one, two. Then we'll put our first finger back on the fourth fret and our second finger back on the fifth fret of the first string for the next line. And we'll play five, five, four, eight on the second string 
and then seven on the first string, and then eight, six, five on the second string. Two, three, then five, five, four, three, two, three, six, six, four, five, two, three. So let's play that line all together. Five, five, four, eight, seven, eight, six, five, 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 four, three, six, six, four, five. And then we end by repeating the first line of the main song, like this. So let's put that all together and play it through from the top. I know I've whizzed through this thing, but you guys are probably gonna to need to play it a lot slower than me at first, and maybe break it down even slower than I have. But put it all together and the tune should sound like this. Let's play it all from the top, including the intro and the main song. One, two, three, four. together and that's how to play the theme from Godfather. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise until next time I love you all and I wish you the best.